Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Cress up here. Welcome, adventurers. How's it all going? We're back playing a bit of uh, Twilight Oracle. Um, if you didn't catch the first episode of this, uh, check it out. It's up on my channel. We've basically... We, we've gotten into this. We, we play Leo. We're a guy... We, we've, we've messed up our studies. We've given a chance to redeem ourselves by capturing this rogue thing on a planet with a, with a team of people. We've discovered the thing that we've got to capture, but they've sort of struck a deal with us, and we've got to decide what we're doing now. Um, returns again, and let's do that. Let's have a chat with the machine again, just so I remember what I'm doing. Complete the ancient drawing of a butterfly. Find the true gem, then start the ritual by returning it to its cradle. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> That's all I have to do. Pumice rock. There's a funny looking rock entangled in the seaweed. <sighs> I can't seem to get it disentangled. Um, what should I use but a comb? Uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed the first uh, episode of this. I certainly did. Now, here's a thought the comb is the perfect solution for matted seaweed. Now the pumice rock is mine. It's filled with holes and stuff. Just don't tell Jill about my seaweed grooming sesh. If she complains about the funky smell, I'll just pretend it's my fancy new shampoo. Yeah, don't tell Jill that we combed. <laughs> we used her go comb with the seaweed. Right, um... Why would I want to use the rock? Well, why indeed, Leo? We've got pumice. Got a bit of pumice? Yeah, uh, if, uh, some of you commented on how you like the the looks of this, the uh, the graphic style, and I I would agree. I think it looks very nice. Hmm, a remnant of a sunken temple. The porous rock could contain stuff, but that's not it. Right, well that's good to know anyway. Uh, I think we go back. Sort of seen all we can. Mm. I suppose I should go and chat to the others, just tell them what I've seen. I'd rather not tell Marcus or Jill oh. about my little chat with the Guardian just yet. They might want to get in touch with the magistrates. And report finding the so-called renegade disciple. I don't want to let it happen before I learn more. Have you seen Olivia? Nope. Thought she... All right. Okay. So we're not going to tell them about our dirty little secret. Okay. I'd rather not subject myself... Okay. No way I'm going back... We don't want to go in there. Right, that's a bit annoying. I thought maybe there'd be more that we could talk to them about. Hmm, there's a little red drawing on the slab. A man? A frog? Uh, could be a starfish. Why would I want to... Check there's nothing else I can use this. What what have I, an absorbent rock? Oh. I said hand oh, yeah, sorry, you don't want me to touch you. A huge rose. Oh right, smell right, right, right. I hope we've gone through all this before. To really look at every pixel. Such delicious aroma. Makes my mouth. It's literally just cabbage. A small fire. You can't put that in the pot. Just watch me. The porous rock could contain stuff, but that's not it. Okay. So I might have to go back to that machine and just see what it was saying. Why would I want? Yes, why indeed. Why would I want? No, okay. Right. Porous, porous. Uh, 
Let's see what else is it. Oh, yes, nope. nothing. nothing. Oh, nothing. The porous rock. Mm -hmm. Fill it with ink. Yo, uh, do you think you could squirt some of your ink, old pal? Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Oh, that was pretty easy. Now the pumice rock is filled with that thick, gloopy stuff. Filled with the red ink of a squid. Okay, interesting. This rock is meant for artsy pub. Hmm, all that's needed is a little garnish to complete the symbol of a butterfly the dude spoke of. And there, I'm done! I'm a regular Picasso, if I do say so myself. A secret compartment in the slab has revealed itself. Yowza! There's a massive gem in there! Not as big as the one I saw in the water, but it barely fits in the palm of my hand. And I got pretty big hands. What have you got over there? Just this piece of rock. Holy smoke, Leo. It's huge! Can we keep it? Nope, I need it for the ritual. Ritual? What ritual? Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Me and my big mouth. Uh, gotta scoot now. Never mind. Leo! Never mind. Let's see. There. Never mind. An unpolished gem. Well. I've got some sandpaper, baby. With a bit of polishing, scraping, and scrubbing, I bet I can make you shine. And voila, it worked. I'm now in possession of a polished gem. Don't say I can't polish a turd. Do you want to look at my shiny gem? The gem is, like, very important. I cannot just give it away. Okay, fine. Fine then, Leo. What else did he say I had to do? Complete the ancient drawing of a butterfly. Find the true gem. Oh, right, okay. Right. I know what I gotta do with this. I gotta stick it in this altar, haven't I? Put tut gem into altar. Ah, oh, the gem fits perfectly in the indentation. Whoa! It's burning! I can feel its glow spreading around me. Oh. Uh, what was that noise? Uh, it came from the shore. I should definitely check it out. Oh, uh, what have hey, you done now, we've done Leo? Out the lights. Okay, they're back on. But the water's starting to boil. I'm out of here. Leo, what the heck have oh, you done? The water's getting really hot. Marcus, are you around? Oh, there's mucus. Oh my god, we've cooked alive the giant conch. The snail's secreting a lot of mucus. We've cut the snail, everybody. I've scooped up some. You never know when you're going to need some snail mucus. I'm a bit acidic. I hope it doesn't burn a hole through my pocket. I mean, I could think of quite a lot of times when I don't need snail mucus. <laughs> I'll be honest. Jill, are you here? Maybe she's gone inside the cave. I'm going to steal her back. Jill's not around. Oh. What happened here? The cave opened up. It was way smaller this morning. Where are all our sleeping bags and stuff? Jill, Marcus, are you guys in here? Leo, you messed up. You've cooked the snails. Please. Who's he supposed to be? The god of gym? Uh, I never cared for gym glass myself. Too much sweat. Whoever I'm this with guy you there, is, Leo. they certainly made sure to cover his privates with a piece of cloth. Hmm, pretty high quality stuff by the feel of it. Huh? That crystal looks like a pyramid without the pointy hat. Ah, I can see my reflection. Hey, crystal, make sure you get my good side. These rocks are warm to the touch. I can't pry them apart. They're stuck together like chewing gum on a hot sidewalk. Hundreds of years of geothermal activity will do that for you. As we all know so well.
Ah, the fabled pool of the diviner, I presume. Let's see what we've got here. Just some plain old water. Ah, that egg-shaped guardian must have been pulling my leg. Or maybe he needs to get his eyes checked. Or maybe there's something I'm missing here. Oh, heck. Whoa, 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 whoa. But crossing a rickety bridge over a chasm? I mean, who knows who built this thing? Could be the same person who built that disaster of a bridge in Colima. Yikes. Okay, we're not gonna cross there then. I don't know that we wasn't are. so bad, but uh, I wouldn't push my luck. Oh, I thought he just wasn't gonna go, but... Right, come here, you little mousy. Aw, a cute little mousy. <laughs> That's what I called him. Aw. Starting to think too much like the adventure game characters. Ah, oh, ew! Oh, what an awful smell. I don't think I've sniffed anything that putrid since that one week when I wore the same socks every day. <laughs> no way I'm venturing down that corridor. Okay. Got a lot of stuff in here. These mushrooms look like they were designed by a mad scientist. Slimy cap, red globules. Can I scoop one up? That's it, you scoop it. Slimy? I wonder what it tastes like. Do you want to try? <laughs> oh, it tastes worse than a what do we call gym sock. Don't ask how I know. Well, what did you but expect? Hey, uh, I'm on an adventure, so uh, I'll hang on to it. Stick to steak. Right, so we've got some globules. Oh, check out this machine. Oh, it's like something from a sci-fi movie. He's not that phased, is he? No dice. The gizmo's batteries must be dead. Right, okay. Batteries are dead. The old batteries. Don't want to go in the stinky passage. Here, Mouse, do you want this mushroom globule? Is this the best use of this gag inducing goo? Got some mollusk mucus. That would be a terrible use of acidic snail mucus. Right, so that's acidic and that's gag inducing. Talk about tacky decor. Tacky? Don't be surprised if you end up as my next meal. You'd be tasty with a sprig of parsley. Ew. Oh, you can talk? Oh, I'm not sure what's weirder. That or the fact that I'm on a quest given to me by an underwater giant net leg. I should eat you just for this irreverence. My master of the Guardian is not to be ridiculed. The Guardian is your master. And he just lets you hang on a wall in this damp cave. I'd renegotiate my contract if I were you. I happen to like it here. What you call damp, I call ambience. So, what's so special about you that Eggy would make you a servant? I weep pure fine tears. Eggy! They cleanse even the most soiled of substances. Cool. So, you're on a quest, you say? Yeah, something to do with the pool over there. I need to watch a vision and see the truth or something. Oh, the pool. Unfortunately, the pool is out of juice at the moment so the visions can't play. Hmm? Out of juice? Then what do I do about it? There's a machine just to the south of here. You need to right. power it up to reactivate the pool. Am I someone's handyman now? Hey, a quest is a quest. Without a new source of power, the machine won't work. Oh, fine. I'll go find a new power source. I don't know if, you know, acidic. I don't know. Let me just see if we can add this, if it does anything. That would be a... Okay, no. Do you want this? Is this the best... I mean, yeah. I'm done with him. He did mention something about needing... And apparently he's a lion head that cries purifying tears. Right, okay, that's good to know. That would be... Purify me! <laughs> Doesn't want to go down there. Is this the be That would be a acidic mucus could hardly help him. Let's go to Fishcliff. Oh! <sighs> Fresh air. 
Stale caves are cool, but I belong in the sun. I think I see dinner. We can say the same about you, pal. Oh! You talk? Oh, you must be a wise old salmon. Um, what are you doing on top of the cliff? I don't suppose you're sunbathing. It's a silly story, really. I'm such a dummy dummy fish. Oh, no. So what? <laughs> Everyone's a dummy sometimes. Me, at least twice a day. I should have been more careful. My friend and I heard this beautiful music coming from the cliff. You dumb dumb. In my excitement, I jumped out of the water for a better listen. Oh. But I jumped too high, too far. I warned him not to, but he never listened. Oh, He's such bobbing. a dummy dummy fish. Hey, you should be nicer to your friends. I keep telling him to think before he acts. But what's the first thing he did this morning? <laughs> Munched on caviar? He saw a shiny thing and straight off gulped it, as if he were a dummy shark. Oh, don't remind me. That shiny thing still gives me a terrible stomach Oh, you dumpster. You big maroon. Have you seen a dude and a couple of girls come by here? I've only seen a girl in a yellow shirt heading west. She looked like she knew where she was going. Yellow shirt. That could be Olivia. Hmm. Thanks for the tip, buddy. Why do you keep bobbing like that, sir? It's unnatural. So, you still have a tummy ache? Yeah, it's awful. Ah. That shiny thing I swallowed is still lodged in my bowels. It feels like a school of piranhas is having a party in there. Really? Bummer. Didn't need to Was be the so... song any good at least? The one that made you splash land onto the ledge? Meh, I've heard better. Really didn't need to know about your bowels, mate, if I'm honest. You know, if you ask, if you ask someone if they're okay and they start going on about their bowels. Here, have this! I may have the solution for your stomachache. Oh, what? Have a sniff of that. Oh, how vile. I'm gonna... I'm Oh. Hey, it worked! You totally bathed up whatever it was that made you feel poorly. What was it? Looks like a locket under all this bile. Oh, well, thank you. I do feel better now. I think I'll stay here a while to recover. Oh, you lovely Maybe little the fishy. the music I heard earlier will return. Little sweetie pie. Just a little bit of a dumb dum But you're all right, aren't you? Still waiting for that music? Yeah, it's bound to play again. Mm, He's wasting room. his time and he knows it. So I can't talk to this scary bobbing fish. Bile soaked. Oh, well, I can purify that probably, can't I? Oh, everything's coming along nicely. There's a cove down there. Hmm, the slope drops sheer making it unsafe to climb down. Okay. A big rock. Looks sturdy. Oh! oh what's that terrible sound? Sounds like someone's torturing a flute. A chisel. That could come in handy. Cooking on gas now, guys. Sticky tree sap. I could use some tissues right about now. Why would I want to break... Okay, let's read this paper. We're getting lots of items now. Hmm? What's this? Looks like a list of jokes. Let's see. Knock, knock. Who's there? Figs. Figs who? Figs the doorbell. <laughs> yeah. Why does a ghost... That's take good. I like that. To lift the spirits. Philip Bosek. To the person who invented zero, thanks for nothing. Chad Armstrong. Is this Kickstarter, what did people? What boss say when she came late to work? Why are you insulate? <laughs> the letter 10. This sentence contains exactly three errors. Artyom Havoc. Why did the orange stop? Because it ran out of juice. Michael. Nikolai Nikolai Moldovian guy. Not there in his head, asleep in his bed. Small fry, you think? But don't you try. If you attack poor Nikolai, you'll soon fry. Vengeful dev. Are some I of these riddles? I fighting with my fish, but he wasn't taking my bait. Salem. That must be Kickstarter people, right? That's cool. That's a fun little thing to include. What's 
is this? Oh, that music's awful. Tell me about it. I'm trying so hard, but I'm so unlucky that even when I play the right note, it sounds wrong. It's like this darn flute is cursed or something. Oh, my ears. I think I need some earplugs. Maybe a helmet. Aw, oh, don't be like that. It's not so bad. Here, I'll play something different. Okay, that's it. I think I lost my sense of hearing. I'm out of here. Wow, there's so much junk scattered around in this forest. But at least I found this empty file. Hmm, I can always find use for it. Right, so we've got the fawn. Anything else around here? Yeah, sticky. That's so I know. But what can I do? I was born unlucky. <clears throat> I hit the right notes, but they still come out all wonky. Well, good luck. I'm out of here, honey. Interesting. Fish clip. Fish clip. It's me, a Leo, we'll come home now. Can we chisel this rock? There's no need to chip it. Chip at the fish? Fish and chip? <laughs> There's no need to chip at that. And here I thought the file was for some... Scooping that would be a waste... This is going to break at some point, isn't it? Uh, right, let's save. I doubt there's much I can do with this. Oh, but he can purify it now. I doubt... Hmm, the water helped clear some of the bile, but there's still a lot of gunk sticking hard to the locket. There's no need to chip. Chip, chip, chip away. Scooping that would be a waste of... I disagree. Hmm, the water... But... Why would I want to break... Why would I want to break... I don't know, why not? Sap is sticky. But not sure it's the right kind of sticky for this. I'm just like a sculptor chiseling away at a masterpiece. Except my masterpiece is a hot rock. Well, I got one. Hmm, talk about collecting junk. Blazing stone, an energetic inferno. Hmm. And here I thought the file was... <laughs> that doesn't require... Oh, check out... No dice. Batteries are dead. Sap is sticky. I'm done with him. He did mention something about needing a p and apparently he's a line head to cry. Purifying cries. tears. Hmm. That doesn't. Sap. Sap. That would be a. T Sap. I doubt there's much I can. So what do we, why do we have these things? Jill's not a rat. Right, we're not going to go snooping around Jill's stuff. Okay. Scooping that would be... 
bang ba ba ra bang. Just, just wash Even the, the cabbage cauldron. soup failed to remove all that gunk. It's stuck really hard to the locket. Um, why do I even have this? Ugh, it's gross. That doesn't require... Right, so that's to heat something up. That's to break something. That's acidic. The mucus might ruin the beauty of the locket. What beauty? Yeah, sticky tree sap. Great for trees. Not dinner. Yes, not everything's dinner, Leo. Water's... Oh, I hope the fishies are alright. Right, so we can't go in the water, okay. That's good though, that kind of stops you from wasting too much time in places you don't need to be. That doesn't rec That doesn't rec There's no No There's no need to chip Don't think there's anything else here. Yeah, sticky. I've already done that. Ugh, sticky. Sap is... Sap? Yeah, sticky. Ah, the fabled pool of the divine. Just some plain old water. Ah, oh, that egg shape. Well, maybe. That's what we, we know what There's that no... is. There's no need. Hmm. Looks like someone's been pumping iron and guzzling protein shakes. I'll leave the uncovering of his family jewels for another time. The cloth stays. Damn it! Looks like this old cloth has finally found its true calling. Ta-da! Uh, the locket is now mucus-free. I used free. the cloth on it. I'll say the same for the undies, though. Looks like they've got a new stain to rock. Oh, no. Why do I need this locket? Yeah, sticky tree sap. Right, we can't go here. Oh, ew! Oh, what a poof! Yeah, sticky. I'm done with heat. And apparently he's a line head to purifying. There's nothing currently to collect in the fire. Right, so I've got to use that to collect his tears, clearly. I've got to make him cry, though. Oh, okay. Yes. That would be a... Acidic mucus could hardly. Mm. Mushrooms. I think I've used all that up. Yeah, I think I'll pass on another helping of mushroom goo. I think that's that's fair. That doesn't. Re so it's that heat something up. Okay. Mm 
That crystal looks like a pyramid without the pointy hat. Ah, oh, I can see my reflection. Hey, Crystal, make sure you get my good side. Hey, have you ever seen a jellyfish wear a cowboy hat? No, but I've seen a shrimp with a top hat. That's nothing. I once saw a crab with a jetpack. <laughs> what a ridiculous conversation. You fools. Still what? Yeah, it is wasted. Gotta cook you up. That doesn't require... Sap is sticky. Sap. Here, do you want this mucus? Acidic mucus could hardly. <laughs> that would be a terrible. There's no need. Aha! There's another place to go to. There's something poking from the sand. Hey, looks like a fossil. There must be some prehistoric bug encased in the rock. Oh! So that's what paleontology must be all about. Popping fossils. Popping fossils in the club. And it's cracking. Like Let's a G6. We have a trilobite. Guess it'll do if I get really hungry. No, Leo, it's not all about eating, for God's sakes. That's a really impressive sandcastle. Thanks. I've been working on it for oh, hours. it's not Olivia. Hours? Wow, you must really love oh, sandcastles. Wow. You need to get out more, my dear. Hey there. Mind if I join you? I don't mind. <laughs> oh, that looks like fun. I don't know. Every time I build a sandcastle, some kid comes over and stomps on it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's rough. So, you, uh, haven't seen anyone around here lately, have you? I'm looking for my friends. Mmm, nope. Sorry. I've been too busy fortifying my castle to notice anyone. I'll keep looking, then. You look a bit sad. You'd be sad, too, if a big old fish swallowed oh! your precious locket. Oh, that's a bummer. It used to belong to my mother, and her mother before her. It was very dear to me. You know, I think I know the fish. You do? Well, can you gut it and oh. get my locket back? Oh, <laughs> not sure about gutting. It's a pretty big fish. But I'll see what I can do. Why don't I just talk to it, hey? Why is it all going to be about gutting with you, huh? There you go. One locket straight from the belly of a fish. Cleaned. Thank you so much. I never thought I'd see it again. There, I want you to have this. A big it's heap not of much, sand. I know. Oh, it's just, just a an rusty old, old coin. coin. But my mother said it used to belong to the luckiest person alive. Thanks. I've been looking for a lucky charm ever since my lucky sock got a hole in it. Thanks again for returning my locket. Thanks again. Okay, she's just going to say that. A poor man's antique. If I had a surfboard, I'd be all over those waves. Oh, maybe later. I'm on a quest right now. Right, so this is lucky. So let's give this to the mu musician. And he might be better at playing. Because he says he's just unlucky playing his notes. That song is... I know. Yeah, oh, born well, unlucky. Good luck with that. I'm out of here. Yeah. I don't need any rusty old coins. You can keep it. Uh, I think you do, pal. I don't need any... Oh, dang. Maybe I need to... That's one way to get rid of rust. There you an go. Acid. And good as new. Hey, it's a lucky coin. This coin better make me luckier finding more lucky coins, or else it's getting dipped back in the snail mucus. There you go. What's this? Well, look at that! A lucky coin! Now you can play the flute without making any mistakes. The flute? Without being rubbish! <laughs> Who needs a flute when you've got a lucky coin? 
I'm going to the casino. The casino. Oh, why didn't I think of that? I've always wanted to win big. You can keep this crummy old flute. Oh, gee, thanks. Uh, thanks, I guess. Ew, it's filled with his spit. Oh, no. Mm. Tastes Leo. like peppermint gum. Wash it out first. With strawberry undertones. Anyway, I'm glad his concert is finished. Now I can finally check out the other side of the forest without risking the major ear bleed. Honestly. Oh! Olivia! Honestly, is this really the time for tree hugging? Oh, hilarious, Leo. Now will you please help me? This crazy woman tied me up. Silence, you. Durantia's wield will not be desecrated. Oh, shut it, you fruitcake. And untie me already. My hair is a mess. Seriously, can this day get any worse? You will be sacrificed for trespassing. This is my forest, not your personal playground. I will not tolerate impurities like you. Oh, she's Join racist. Her with a pine cone, Leo. Just pick one up already and show her what's what. Can't we work something out? We'll do anything you want. Hmm. I suppose there are a few. Oh, here we you go. Here's the shopping me. list. Anything. All right then. Here's my first quest for you. Bring me ancient life to prove you're not just forest well, trespassers. I've got, that. got it. Ancient life on my way. Got that. Make it quick, Leo. I don't fancy becoming this nutter's next recipe for her woodland cookbook. But first, I'm going to pick up an onion. Apple onion. Take that! Pretty strong smelling. Who knows when I'll come across one again. What do you think Is about that then? The time to go about harvesting. <laughs> I pick up this onion. What do you think about that, huh? Hmm? <laughs> what do you make about that, hey? A baby tree. Oh, kind of cute. A baby. Hang in there, Olivia. I'll get you out of this mess. Get to it, Leo. The forest mosquitoes are having a feast on me. Here's an ancient life. You can't get more ancient than a, a, a trilo. What you call it? Can you? Ew. That's a creepy crawly bug. Very impressive. Perhaps you're not the lowly defilers I first thought you were. Does it mean I can go? Not just yet. Oh, I have a second quest for you. Can't wait to hear this. The seedling here has been poorly. Its growth has been stunted. Oh, Joy, what's next? Weeding your garden? Help the seedling grow, and I might just start considering your plea for your friend's freedom. Help the seedling grow. All right. What do you think? The warmth of this rock can aid the seedling's growth. See? It's already doing its magic. Very impressive. Oh! But there's still one more quest for you. She doesn't quit! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The water of the lake has been soiled by bathing trolls. This is my final quest for you. Oh no. Cleanse it, and I will let your friend Someone's go. Someone's done a poo in the pool. Purify the lake. On it. But this better be the very last quest. Right, I've got to give the onion to the lion, and then he'll cry. Get his purifying tears. Oh, it's all working out beautifully. Did you hear about the new restaurant in town? No. What kind of food do they serve? Water. That's ridiculous. Who would pay for water? What are you up to, bloody beavis and butthead over here? I have a surprise for you. I hope this one doesn't smell like a garbage truck. No. This is a good surprise. Have a listen to this. Bravo! That was amazing! Give the kid some love! He can play the flute, I mean, alright? They're, they're more pan pipes, aren't so they? Beautiful. Thank you so much. Here, you take ready? this as a token of appreciation. An eel? Not just any eel. This one's a real delicacy. Watch out, though. It likes to zap. Oh! Yeah, they have that reputation. We're, we're absolutely cooking on gas here, everybody. We are absolutely cooking on gas. There's a fort. Just what? In the blazes, 
do you think you're doing? Onion hmm? in your face. Oh, I don't mind me. Just uh, passing through with this very bulbous onion. I like the how he didn't... tearing up pretty... I like how he didn't cut it. He just <laughs> well, shoved a full I onion in his face. Low. Collecting lion tears. What's next? Bottling up unicorn sweat? Just leave him to cry. Sorry, little guy, but I gotta borrow some of your juice. That should do it. Hmm, nothing so far. There, that should do something. Man, I could have been a scientist. The machine is active, and I've... I'm done with him. He did mention... Right, okay. Is the machine on, then? The pool is still inactive. Well, we can leave that for now and take our little tears. I was going to stop around the 40 minute mark, but I'm doing so well here. I kind of don't want to yet. I'm sure purifying the lake with lion tears will do the trick. I you have proved your worth exceeds that of the common troll. Uh, thank you. Perhaps you might even be considered as friends of the forest. Yes, your friend can now go. Finally! My arms feel like they're going to fall off. You may remain in the forest, but show it some respect. Farewell oh, for definitely. Now. What was that all about? Respecting the forest? She's just upset because I relieved myself behind one of her precious trees. So, where is everyone? I was in the water searching for our renegade dude when I heard a noise coming from the shore. When I came up, Jill and Marcus were gone. What kind of noise? Sounded like rocks smashing together. I suppose it had something to do with the ritual. Wait, what ritual? <laughs> I like this little shortcut. You should have told them you found our target underwater, Leo. You shouldn't have kept it a secret. Our whole future is riding on this mission. I don't want to be banished. I know, I know. <sighs> but don't you care about what he had to say? About the vision? You didn't even see the vision. I just need to get the pool to work again. Let's just do it and figure out our next move afterwards. All right, but no more hiding things, okay? Yeah, yeah, no more secrets. And we also need to find Jill and Marcus. I'm going to rest for a minute. I'll catch up with you in the cave. All right, let's leave it there. But we're doing well. We're getting some good stuff going on. Right, thank you very much for watching. Um, you can watch, obviously, all of this playthrough. Uh, I'll be updating it every few days. Um... And, uh, yeah, I feel like we're probably about halfway through the game at the moment. So there's probably only about one or two more episodes to go. But, uh, yeah, tune in. If you're enjoying this, do give, give me a like and subscribe and all that corny stuff. Uh, check out my game developer interviews as well. And I'll catch you for the next one. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.